Hey, hey, hey everyone, James here from Mortisk Media, and we're back with some more Unreal Engine 5 tutorials. And in this one, we're going to be continuing on with our Blueprint series, and this one we're going to be talking about the difference between using enums or booleans. Now, both of these can function in the same principle, however, one can be a little bit more efficient than the other, and that's kind of what I want to talk about today. So an enum, just to give you a basic, basic understanding, is basically its it, the, its longer name is an enumeration. Now, what it really is is it's a way to store data and create controllable switches for whenever you're coding like movement profiles and things like that. It's really really nice and clean, and it creates really nice control as well. So just to give you a basic understanding, so I did, um, I set up a little demonstration over here of what a Boolean version of this would look like, okay? So this would be a basic sprint setup and a crouching setup with no additional movements. Now, as you can see here, we require a branch to make sure that we are not sprinting before we set the crouching and set our movement speed. And this is on both of these. Now. If you have more than one movement style, like for example, if you have a run cycle, a walk cycle, a sprint, a crouch, climbing, mantling, anything that is a constant state, you would have to create additional Boolean variables to make sure that you can't go into these states if or any of these like sprinting or anything like that if you were already in one of the other states so basically if you like had seven different movement styles within your game you would have to have seven different booleans to be able to control how uh, the flow is going to work on the execution so I'm just going to go ahead and put that out of the way for a second so now I'm going to show you um, how to be able to set up the enumeration to be able to create something that's basically the same thing but with a lot more control so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to go to always whoop. all right there we go sorry blueprints um then we're going to go to enumeration now from here we're just going to type in base movement underscore enum oops enum if i can type there we go all right so now we're with the base movement enum we're going to open it up and now as you can see here, we have enum description and all that good stuff. But the one that we want is this add enumerator. So we're going to add three different movement styles. So we're going to go running, sprinting, crouching. And then we're just going to click on save and we're going to minimize. And actually we'll make, bring it back up because I actually have my blueprint right here. So bring up your character's blueprint here. And what you're going to want to do is go ahead whoops, and go to your blueprint section, add a variable, and we're going to call this base movement, and then go from boolean, and then type in the search bar, base movement, and then you got base movement enum. So now we have a variable that is in reference to that enumeration and all of these states that we just created. So now what we can do is, rather than doing it this way, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to disconnect these really quickly. This way I can use these in the example I'm doing up here. Oops, it did not take both of them. There we go. All right, so for the left shift, so off of pressed, instead of using a Boolean setup, what I'm instead going to do is switch on base movement perfect switch on base movement enum now if we're already running we're all set and we're ready to go and now this actually brings me to another point here that we want to do we actually want to right click event begin play what we're going to do is we're going to take the base movement variable that we just made we're going to set it plug it into the event play and we're going to set as soon as we start we're going to set our base movement to running and you can also set it to flying to swimming wherever your character is going to drop in but we just want to make sure that we are running and then what we're going to do is get that variable and we're going to plug it into the selection here so now what we're going to do is we're going to go from running we're just going to actually we need our character movement so i'm just going to go ahead and drag that out here and now from here we can just do this. 
set max walk speed. All right, and we'll set it from running. We don't want to set it if we're already sprinting or crouching, so that's all we have to do there. So then we're just going to go off of released, switch on base, movement, enum. And then we'll duplicate this. Drag this out of the way really quickly. We'll duplicate this. Bring this out, plug this into the selection. Now what we're going to do is we'll off of, go off of sprinting. So if we're already sprinting, which is what we should be. Oh, and that's actually the other thing. So after we do the base movement, we also need to make sure to set it. So enumerations are essentially, uh, you're going to be you know, setting information throughout the entirety of it. So base movement, set, plug this in, and then we're going to change this to sprinting. So now our base movement is set to sprinting. So what we're going to do now is from sprinting, we're just going to duplicate the character movement. Shift D. There we go. And then set max walk speed. And then we'll go off of sprinting only. Now you can hook up multiple of these. Like if I wanted to go from running, crouching, and all of these, I could hook up all of these. But realistically for this, we just want it to be when we're sprinting. So this way it'll set it and then set it back. So then we're also going to do, we'll set this to 650 and we'll set this to 350. And then we'll also make sure to set our base movement back to running. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing over here. Switch on base movement. And then we'll drag in our base movement variable. We'll get it. We'll plug it into the selection here. And now what we'll do is off of running, what we'll do is, just because I do not have any crouch animations right now, so I'm not actually going to set up the crouch and uncrouch, uh, but we're just going to do it off of a max walk speed. So max walk speed set max walk speed helps if you type in the right one all right so now what we want is just if we're running we're going to set max walk speed and then we're also going to set base movement to crouching all right now one thing i like to do with crouch is i like to actually operate it off of a flip-flop so this way it's like press it once it does this press it again it does this so we're going to go off pressed Type in flip-flop and drag this back and then switch on enum, base movement enum. There we go. All right. And then we'll take the base movement selection, get it, plug it in, and then off of crouching, we will get our character movement again, bring it out set max walk speed bring it up and plug this in from crouching so what this is essentially doing is so I'll, what i'll do is i will clean these up so they look a little bit better you know when i'm going to be comparing the two together now and then I'll also make sure to play both of them together so you can see the difference as well oh we also have to make sure that after we do our uncrouch that we set our movement back to running all right so we'll set our walk speed to 125 our base walk speed back to 350 perfect okay so the difference between these two is ultimately this so if i go and i bring up my example here and i'll put them side by side and I'll put them underneath each other like this. So if we look at the example here, and if I just undo these, you can see the execution lines. So if I plug this into here, so under pressed, and then released. So Evan Layton, as I said, for every single movement type, you're going to have to have additional Boolean variables. With this one, the enum list will just get longer. And now it as long as you make sure to set your variable after you go into a different movement type, this is going to work just fine. And I'm going to demonstrate to this to you guys right now. So, first things first, I just put crouch button on the sh sprinting code. So, that I should probably fix that really quickly. Um, all right, and then we'll hook this into the flip-flop. 
All right, so what's going to happen is that uh, it's going to do a basic movement speed decrease, increase, and that is going to be it. So do not expect crouching animations. But here I am. I can go and sprint. I'm going to make the speed increase a little bit more dramatic because it's actually hard to tell. So I'm going to go stop that. And we're going to go max walk speed. We'll set this to just like 1,200. Just go like a big, big number. Save, play, so we'll go this, and now you can see we go in normal speed, sprinting speed, normal speed, sprinting speed, but while I'm sprinting, it won't let me crouch, but if I let go, and then I hit the crouch button, it's putting my speed at 125, but I cannot use the sprint button, hit crouch again, now I can sprint. So these are all controlled through booleans, basically saying, don't do this if we are in this state. Now. Here's what enums look like with that much cleaner setup. So we'll plug this into there, this into there, and then this into there. And we'll compile, save, play. Then just like before, we got our normal speed. But I did not increase the sprint speed on this one, so I do apologize about that. We'll set that from 650 to 1200. I'm sure you could see the difference in the states that are being created, but... Alright, so now we'll go C, normal speed, sprinting speed. And then if I hit C, go into uh, the crouch speed, I cannot sprint. If I hit C again, go back into normal, we're back into sprint, but I cannot crouch. So it creates the exact same functionality, but it's a lot cleaner. So that's the one thing, um, enums over Boolean variables, always. At least when it comes to things that are going to be complex. If you're come talking about movement styles, always use enums. If you're talking about attack animations and things like that, you can use Booleans like, you know, for save attack or is attacking. You can use simple ones like that. You don't need uh, enums for something that is just like, uh, it's either this or this. But if you have something like it's either this or this or this, or like you have five different things that it could be, use an enum. It's a lot cleaner and a lot simpler. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that's really all for right now because enums are pretty simple. If you guys have any questions or you know if there's anything that didn't cover as well, please feel free to leave me um, some info in the comments or message me directly. Um, but I really hope this was informative for you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed it. But as always, stay animated.